Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, happy Thursday. Welcome along to this week's uh, deep dive. Uh, today, we are going to take a look at um, the approval workflow and how best um, agencies and uh, social media managers can uh, send content for approval and make it very easy for their client customer to see those posts afterwards as well. Uh, I'll be joined uh, in this session by my colleague Farinaz, where we're going to sort of do a bit of role playing, where I will be the agency and Farinaz will be um, my customer or my client. Uh, Farinaz has just had said hello into the chat box there. So um, on the right hand side of the screen, you should see a few tabs. Uh, the first tab is to start a chat. Uh, and then we have a questions tab as well. So if you guys have any questions regarding um, the approval process, please at any time, just add your questions into the questions tab and uh, we'll have some time at the end of today's session to, to cover any questions. Okay, so for those that haven't met me before, my name is Marcus. I am a customer success specialist here at Sendable. Uh, and I'm happy that all of you are here joining me. So for those that have been here before, you know that we like to play a little icebreaker to get people um, starting to leave comments in the chat. So today's icebreaker is, if you were to become famous, why, what would you be famous for? And I'll start that off. I think I would be famous. I think I could see myself as a bit of a stand-up comedian. So I think I'd be famous for being on stage, trying to make people uh, laugh and feel a bit better about themselves. So let me know yours. Get those answers in the chat. Uh, and while you do that, I will start to share my screen and take you through today's session. Surely someone knows why they would be famous. I see Erin is typing. Thank you. Okay. Uh, while they come through, I'm just now logged into my dashboard. Um, as you may know, we always kind of start in the engage priority inbox area. But what I want to do is just head over to uh, manage users just to remind people on what uh, the setup is. Oh, hi, Rick. Hi, Erin. YouTube or streaming? I, yeah, I see myself as a bit of a YouTuber. I'm just a little bit scared <laughs> to take the first step. <laughs> okay, so this is my manage users section, and you can access this section if you are an admin, uh, and you can access this via uh, the drop down manage users and the right hand side drop down as well manage users. Now, the reason I've brought you here is because I kind of want you to see the makeup of my organization, the structure. So I'm logged in as the agency alpha, who is the administrator, hence why I'm able to access this area. And I manage a few clients here, okay? And then I have a team member that manages a client as well. And my colleague Savannah is uh, another administrator. So I am now gonna be responsible for creating posts for each of my client, and I am gonna want them to be able to approve those posts that I create. So by default, um, anyone is able to seek approval by the other users. So if I want Farinaz to um, approve a post, what I can do is I can go ahead and select a profile. I can type my message. Oops. And at the bottom, I have a send for approval. Let me just go ahead and schedule this for later in the month. And then everyone will have the option to send for approval. So once I select send for approval, I have a nice pop-up that uh, appears. And then I can select anyone to approve this message. Now, I want to send that message to my colleague Farinaz. And I'm going to leave a note here to say, uh, here is my test post for you. Okay, and then I can now send that for approval. Okay, so that's now being sent to Farinaz. Farinaz will get an email and she will get a uh, in dashboard notification. Now me, because I created um, that task for Farinaz, I can actually monitor what's happening under the my tasks option for others. So in the for others tab, you will see um, that this is what I have I have sent to the client to Farinaz. 
And here is the note that I've left for Farinaz as well. Now, I'm an admin, so I can kind of review and approve or delete this task. But I'm going to invite Farinaz in now to kind of show the workflow from a client's point of view and the options that they can take. OK, because they can actually approve via the dashboard. But if you don't want to give your clients access to the dashboard, there's also a way to approve via the email that was sent. So I'm just going to invite Farinaz in so she can kind of show you uh, the email and how you can approve via the dashboard. Hello, Farinaz. Hi. Hi, everybody. So let me share my screen for a second. OK, so looking at it from a client point of view, now that Marcus has sent me the approval, so I'm currently in the engage and task for me view. So as I can see the message that was sent to me by Marcus, um, he's basically left a little note as well, which is here is my post for you. So essentially, I now have that option to approve or reject. As we can see, um, I have the options available to me, which is sent for approval or rejecting it. And then if I head over into my inbox, we can see this is the post or rather the notification that has just come through um, to my mailbox. So if you're on the go, instead of you ba basically heading over into the sendable dashboard, you can directly approve or reject from this view. So when we head over into the approve option, I can simply reject or I can approve and reassign. OK, Marcus, back over to you. Thank you, very nice. So as you can see there, that was a way of approving a message without your client actually having to log into your dashboard. You can do it via the email that is sent. So that's really a handy tool, as Farina says, especially if your client is on the go. OK, I'm just going to bring up my screen again. So the second option I want to show you is how we can actually set up uh, a, an approval workflow. So a kind of one-to-one -one relationship, whereas previously I, I had the option to, um, I had it was optional for me to select an approver and I was able to select anyone from that list. But let's say <clears throat> I have a team member tab open here. So the agency team member. So what I'm gonna do here is the agency team member is managing my client's point MMA profiles. So what I can do is I can select this team member and I can go to the workflow and I can basically say that this team member cannot publish anything without approval. So I can say that his approval is now mandatory and then I can actually um, select an approver for this team member. So in this case, I'm going to say that the client point MMA must be the approver. OK, so I'm now going to update this user. And then I'm going to switch in over here. Let's just quickly do a refresh. OK, perfect. OK, so now when I click the compose option, you can see it's only giving me the option to send for approval once I get some content in there. So I'll just um, um, so I'll take my MMA post. And you can see I have no option to schedule. Uh, I mean, I can set a scheduled date, but any date that I choose, it's still going to say send for approval because I've made it mandatory for my team member to send for approval. So I select send for approval. It gives me the options to, um, you know, the drop down, but the drop down will only contain the name of the person who is the approver. But I can still leave a note, so I can say, uh, "Here is your post for next week," okay. and then I can send for approval. So this is now going to go to the client's uh, dashboard and email. So I've now sent that through. Okay. So let me uh, navigate back over here. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to impersonate that client. So here is their dashboard here. 
Okay, so I've now impersonated this client. So I can see I've got a notification in my bell. And a few seconds ago, I've been assigned a task. So the agency now wants me to approve a post. Yeah, the agency team member that is. So as I go down to for me, I can see that here is the post. Okay, so I can um, approve or reject. And I'm happy to now approve and um, and send. And remember, it will, won't go live until the um, May 29th. But as the approver, I can make edits as well. Okay, so I can change the date also if I wanted to. So I can approve and send. And then that's now going to go into a scheduled state. Okay, so if I head back over to the team member dashboard, let's go over to uh, here. I can see that the um, message has now been approved. Um, so it's probably going to show up as completed. Fantastic. And then I can see I've now got one message that is scheduled. There's the MMA post here under the team member dashboard. Now, one thing to remember, because I created that post in the team member dashboard and not the client's dashboard, even though it's set to be scheduled, if we take a look at the client's view, the client won't see that that post has been scheduled in their dashboard because it was built and created in a different dashboard. So I hope that makes sense. So if you wanted your client to see approved posts, then there's a couple of ways that you can do that. The first way would be to, as a team member that has access to um, the client, so you can see I'm the team member, but I have, I have access to the client's dashboard because I'm managing that client, then I can actually go and create posts in the client's dashboard and still send the client a notification for approval. This means once approved, the client will then see those posts scheduled in their dashboard. So let's do um, an example here. Um, and let's do an example of uh, like a bulk upload, for example. So I can schedule multiple posts at once. And uh, I can select a profile. And I'm, I'm going to sort of cheat. I have a spreadsheet that I've pre-created. So this is going to be the bulk messages that I um, upload. So let's go ahead and upload the CSV here. And then here's my uh, deep dive bulk upload. I'm asked to confirm the date format, which is absolutely fine. And then here, these are all of my messages that have been filtered through. So in containing the, uh, the schedule time and date, any images and any URLs that were used. So I still want the client to be able to approve these, okay? I can import as scheduled, um, but remember, I'm actually still logged in as the team member. So I have to import for approval, which is absolutely fine. So I'm now going to import for approval uh, all sort of six messages and uh, the client has to approve. So I'm going to say, here is your bulk posts. And I'm now going to send for approval. Okay, so it's just going to take a little second, but uh, that will then show up in the client's dashboard. So, okay, that's all fantastic. If I go to my tasks for others, I'll be able to view what I have then sent to other people. So all of those messages are now um, are now here. And then if I switch into the client's dashboard, let's just quickly uh, refresh here. And while I'm doing this, if there is any questions, please get them into the uh, questions tab as well. Okay, so let's switch over to that client. I've got a notification that I've been assigned a, a task here. And now for me, I've got six uh, tasks that I need to go through and approve. Okay, so I can actually review each of these. And as I uh, review and approve, these will now be available on the client's dashboard because they were created in the client's dashboard, even though they were created by a team member. So I'll just go ahead and approve each of these. And you can see as I'm approving, our scheduled count is going up on the client's dashboard here. OK, 
Okay, so it's taking a little bit long here. Okay, so then when the client logs in um, and they've approved, they will see exactly what is due to go out. So they've been uh, scheduled under the client's dashboard. So the client will have a clear view of, um, of their content. And that will also be available on the calendar as well. So they can see everything that's been scheduled. So that's fantastic there. Um, now, this is one of the last options that I want you to go through um, is sometimes, like I said, you may create messages on your dashboard that you you want your client to see. So if that's ever the case, then it's quite easy to um, export messages and posts from one dashboard and then upload them into another. So for instance, if I needed um, a, a different client to see my posts, then I can just get them all into view. And remember, you can filter by specific profiles, dates, dashboard users, and so on to create your view. And then I can just, um, I don't need to select all, I can just use the more drop down and export to CSV. Okay, then that's gonna sort of save down at the bottom here for me. And let's say I wanted these messages to be seen by another client, I can just switch into a, a client's dashboard like Farinaz is here. And then I can compose in bulk and then just upload that same CSV. So the format is exactly the same. So here's the one that I've, uh, just created so now i can upload confirm the dates if you don't want to see this every time you can just uh, select this option here and that will be removed and now i can import these into farinaz's dashboard so next time farinaz logs in she will be able to see those scheduled messages on her calendar oh i need to select a profile sorry All right, fantastic. It's taken a second or two to import, but that will um, that will happen. <laughs> it should happen. This is a typical one of a on a live demo. Um, let's let me try that again here. Okay, something has gone wrong. Let me just refresh and, and try again to, to show you how easy it really is. So back into Farinaz's dashboard, I want to compose in bulk, select my profile here, upload my CSV, which was the messages one, content is in, and now I can import. It doesn't seem to like something. Hmm. Okay, seems to be a little bit of an issue there that I'm going to research when I get offline. But really, it is that easy to export your posts and then re-upload into a, a separate client dashboard. Right, I think that was the main... Uh, sort of workflows that I want you to demonstrate. Let's just have a quick look to see what questions and scenarios have come through. Okay. So we have a question from Erin uh, Marcus. And Erin um, uh, basically wants us to go through the um, automa automatic send for approval, whereby the, the send for approval is the only option available to the client. So if we yes. can... If we can run through that one again with Erin. Of course. So Erin, you need to be an admin in order to get to the manage users section. So you have to be able to, to, be able to access to this access. option here or via here. That would then take you to the list of all of your users that has access to your dashboard. From there, you can edit that user. Um, so let's say you wanted a client to have to send their post to you, for example. I can click on the client or the team member that I want. And it's the workflow tab that you need to do. The workflow tab will allow you to say, you know, do they need approval before publishing? Yes or no. So if you kept it as no, then it will be optional. They'll have the approval button where they can select all users or they could be able to send now. 
But if you really want to be have that sort of strict relationship, select yes, and then just pick who that approver should be. So hopefully, Erin, that has answered your um, your question there. I can see she's typing. Ah, oh, excellent, excellent. Okay. I think there's another question from Courtney. Um, for the import CSV file feature, do you have a CSV, a CSV template available that you can share or can you show what you... Yes, um, Courtney, we definitely do have a template available. So there's the option under the download CSV file, as you can see, Marcus points out. So once you click on download, it will basically give you the template and you can basically use that one as your um, example template for uploading. Yeah. So this is what the template looks like. It's um, just a simple message, the send date, any URL that you wish to include into your post, and a link to your images as well. Okay. But images can also be um, easily added uh, via the actual bulk compose window as well. You have the option to view your media library, browse files, etc. So hopefully that answered your question, Courtney. Okay, you just open the composing bulk, select download, and then you can download the CSV files here. And it's kind of the same format if you are exporting as well. So um, it, whether it's a draft or your scheduled posts, Remember, you can just export via CSV, and that's going to export in the same format as well. So there's a couple of options how to get yourself that template. Okay. I hope that answers the question for you, Courtney. Okay, we have another question in chat. Yep. Um, thanks, Courtney. You're welcome. Okay, so there are no further questions. Is there anything else that you wanted to cover, Marcus, from your side? Uh, from my side, when it comes to approvals, not really. I just think it's, it's all about how you work and just make sure you remember that if you are creating content for your clients in your own admin dashboard or team member dashboard, which may have uh, you know different brands, you know, your client may not see that. Your client, as your client is set up, they will only have access to their own dashboard. That's why I really wanted to hammer home the fact that um, it is definitely okay for you to create posts in your client's dashboard and send for approval to themselves. And then that will trigger an email um, where they can approve via the email or log into the dashboard, approve, and then be able to view posts that are going out to their own brand so that, that i just wanted to get that across and then marcus um i left a little um role play um so there should be an option where a dm would have been sent and should be within the priority inbox so we can also assign that as a task that is, that is very true. Run through that. Oh, of course. So, as uh, Farron as was saying, every time you get a comment or someone sends you a, like a direct message, you can assign or seek approval for your reply as well. So, Annie left a message here on Icewind Plains. I can write a reply. Um, so I can just say thank you, thank you for your message. And I can seek approval for my reply, and that would work in the same workflow, okay? Alternatively, I might have a message which I, I, I don't know what to reply, so let me cancel this. One of my team members might have a better answer, you know, what our, what our open hours are. So what I can do here is I can use this free dot menu and I can assign this message that is coming from um, Annie Do. I can assign this to another member of staff or to one of my clients. So for example, I can forward this direct message to Farinaz and then I can say, um, please respond to Anne. 
Okay, then I can assign that to Farinaz. And then you can see in your priority inbox that this message has been forwarded on. And then this is client to Farinaz. It should say the name if I hover over. No, okay. But Farinaz, if you was to um, share your screen and then you can kind of show everyone what that what that looks like. Sure. So let me share my screen for a minute. Okay, so there's the engage and task for me option. So there's a little notification bell. And as we can see, a task has been assigned to me a few seconds ago. And it says, please respond to Annie and that is the actual message or DM that we received. So I can click on reply and I can basically respond and I can say hours. Okay, and I can then send either send that for approval or I can send that and that is the message that will basically go through to the DM that was received as a task. Now, there are ways to identify a message that's come through as a DM and ones that have come through as a task, um, sorry, as a DM and as a message. So if you hover over the little icons on the top, it will actually stipulate that this is priority inbox task. And if I switch over into for others or rather completed, those little icons, they are little icons that indicate, and if you hover over them, it will tell you exactly where that task, specific task is. Um, coming from, so whether it is from the priority inbox or whether it is a comment that you are responding to. Oh, that's super cool. Uh, I did want to just let the, the guys know that you can send a post for approval to more, I say to more than one person, but I could send a post to Farinez for approval. Farinez can then forward that same message to another member to for approval so if you did need um like double approval that is possible uh, i think it goes up to four um, but if that post is ever rejected throughout that chain it's gonna go back to the uh the beginning so it would come back to me as as the person that assigned that task um, but you do have the ability to send for approval and then for that approver to forward on for further approval if that's ever going to be a use case for anyone. Okay, uh, I think that brings us to the end of the session. Is there any more questions from our audience? No, so. they are not. Okay, well then please um, earmark us for next week. We're going to be joined by one of our marketing specialists that's going to really be talking about how to set KPIs and, and how to sort of measure those as well. So that's going to be a really exciting uh, webinar. And I look forward to seeing you all there. Um, I see there's a few people typing, so I'll just make sure we don't miss any questions. All right, okay, excellent. Well, I wish you all a happy weekend and enjoy the rest of your day and um, same time next week. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, bye. Bye now.